Hey, what's up, reefers? Today we are going to take a quick look at the Eheim Quick Vac Pro. It's a automatic gravel cleaner and slush extractor by description. Um, I got it mainly to clean the sump uh, of detritus because my sump sits on the ground and it is a little difficult to create a siphon with it and it just kind of is in an awkward position. So I was on Amazon looking for different products that can help me do a better job siphoning things out and cleaning cleaning a tank. And I came across this um, QuickVac Pro. I read the reviews and it seems like this is catered mostly towards freshwater fish. On the box, it even says that it's not recommended for fine sand, but I did see a few people using this um, on their reef tank, uh, cleaning the sand bed. So I figure it's probably worth a try. So, I've been watching this product for a while and recently went on sale. It used to be 60, now it's 50. So I figure, okay, what better time than now? So I ordered this two days ago and finally today is my water change day. And before the water change, I tested it, tested this unit out and I created a short video um, documenting my experience with it for the first time. So I put this unit together really fast. It comes, it came in a couple of different pieces. So I got to see how it, how it was put together. Uh, it's pretty well built. It does not have a lot of small pieces, which is great because that means that it's easy to clean and it will not fall apart without an easy way for us to fix it. And all the units are pretty, it's, they're all really accessible, meaning that I can get to all the little nooks and cleanies to clean them out, which is great. So I put it together, I tried it on. At first, okay, so at the tip, there's actually two parts, two plastic parts. One just kind of contained the motor and the and then attached to it, there's a, there's this long section of tubing that's for that's for tumbling the gravels. So at first I tried it without that first the, without the tip, but it did not seem to work too well. So I added the tip back and for some reason with that tip on, it actually suctioned a little a little better physics. I guess, or maybe I, I was just not using it right without the tip. I'll try it again in the future, but for now I use the tip. So with the tip on, I tried cleaning the sump and to my surprise, it actually worked really well. So all the detritus got sucked up pretty successfully and all the loose carbon pellets remain on the floor of my sump. Those did not get sucked up because they're a little bit too heavy. Uh, one thing to mention is that the motor is pretty weak at first, I doubt, <laughs> I was like, this is not going to suck anything up. But when I put it in the water, it actually created a nice little siphon. That's enough to pull things up, like poofing like sand, poofing uh, poof like sand up. So as I was cl uh, cleaning the sump, I paid attention to what it was able to pull up and what it was not able to pull up. It was able to pull up all the detritus that got collected on the bottom of the sump. Um, so I think this unit would be great for bare bottoms. It did not pull up uh, the carbon pellet, like I mentioned, and also any loose, uh, well, not loose, but hair algae growing on the wall of the tank of the sump. I specifically tried to scrape it off and pull um, and try to uh, try. I tried to scrape them and I tried to suck them up, but that did not happen. It basically just um, pull up really light stuff in the tank. But I did a good job. And a great thing is that the water remained in the tank, meaning that as I siphon things, the water get returned to the tank. You can think of this almost like a canister, canister filter, basically. It just kind of pulled the water into this unit. It runs it through the media, which is just that uh, cartridge. The cartridge has really fine mesh and the uh, uh, detritus get trapped in the mesh and then the water gets expelled back in the tank. So this is great because one big reason I did not try to t clean the sump as much is that if I do get a siphon, if I do get a siphon going, that means I'm also pulling water out of the tank. That means I got to mix water and put a water, uh, put new water back in the tank, and that's a that's a bigger operation. Versus with a unit like this, when I don't have time, I can just like stick the unit in, turn it on, and pull all the crap out, and the water remains in the sump, which is fantastic. Another good thing about this unit is that it's pretty slim, even though it's long. So I was able to maneuver this to the back chamber of my sump and clean the area where my skimmer sits and where my return pipe sits. And I've never cleaned those area because it's so awkward to get to. 
And that is probably I have algae explosions in my main tank right now. So I was able to clean those for the first time and it did pull some crap out, which is fantastic. So in my, re in my review reading of Amazon, uh, it has about 900 reviews right now and is about three and a half star. Um, I paid a lot of attention to uh, negative review because I think those are the most telling. And what I look for is that why do people give negative review to this? Is it because of bad product, product design, or is it because of things are failing? So it turns out a lot of people are giving negatives because the unit broke, like it does not work anymore. But they all claim that the product works well. So the product design is sound. It's just a construction may be a little bit iffy or there may be like um, uh, just bad units sent out. So shopping from Amazon, I know that they have a 30 day uh, money back guarantee. And this product seems to have a two year volunteer as well. And coming from Eheim, I know that they, they have good products, like the return pump is fantastic. So I'm I'm like, okay, fine. Maybe the bad quality products may just be like, um, just bad luck, you know, or something like that. So I, I decided to take the gamble. I ordered this unit and so far I've been working great. So one thing that kind of stood out in the review is that somebody actually did a hack on this, uh, on this product. Instead of using the standard cartridge, he also lined the cartridge with a 50 micron bag. Well, not bag, sorry, a 50 micron pad. So basically, um, the water will come through the unit and it will go through the 50 micron pad first and then hit the cartridge, meaning that it's gonna trap a lot finer product, uh, finer detritus. And this is important because I also tested this out in the display tank. In the display tank, a lot of you guys uh, mentioned uh, maybe trying to stir the sand bed and siphon out any crap that floats out. Those are the detritus, uh, the really light detritus. I can't even pronounce that word, I'm sorry. Um, but that may be causing the algae growth as well. So as I try this product in the tank, especially because it's recommended not to be used on sand, right? I pay attention to does the sand get caught, does, does it get caught in the units, does it go up the propeller and stuff like that. And I'm happy to report that for the most part, sand does stay on the sand bed. And I actually even try different depth, um, this unit go into the sand. Like I'll press a little bit deeper into the sand bed just to see how it behaves. And for the most part, sand particle remain on the sand bed. And I do see a cloud going into the units. But unfortunately, the same cloud come right out of the unit, out of the cartridge. So I think this is where that modification of using a 50 micron bag or 50 micron pad or even a 100 micron pad may come in really handy. I will essentially take the cartridge out, open up the cartridge, uh, which you need to do anyways to clean it, and wrap the pad, the 50 micron pad around the cartridge. This way, when the water comes through, the finer particle is going to get trapped in the pad before the water flows out of the unit. I think this will be really beneficial and this may answer the question, uh, the, uh, this may be the, my answer to cleaning and stirring my sand bed. So I am hopping on the Amazon soon and gonna order a 50 micron, or if I cannot find 50 micron, I'll go for the 100 micron pad and use that to line the cartridge and test this unit out again. But as it is right now stock, it did, capture, it did capture a lot of crap. And if I done this right, you should be seeing a video of me kind of taking this unit apart and cleaning it out and also showing you guys what it captured in the cartridge. So of course, number one, you'll see some of the sand and these are probably the lighter sand uh, that got caught up. And I was paying attention to where the sand was trapped and the sand did not get trapped in the propeller. It number one, went into cartridge. And number two, there seems to be an extra chamber, a little pocket right in the same section as the propeller that all these loose sand seem to be catching, which is great. So nothing, no sand is really um, affecting the performance of this unit, at least not yet. And I noticed that in the stuff that came up, um, of course, I see a lot of um, uh, detritus, which I'm trying to get rid of anyway, so that's great. I see one or two loose pieces of um, uh, the algaes, Cheeto algaes, which is fine. <laughs> so these are not clogging up my return pipe. So it, got, it was able to pick up some of those as well. But for the most part, it has a lot of fine particle, fine sand particle that looks kind of uh, 
crappy, which I'm happy to get out of my tank. And I'm sure that with the addition of the 50 micron bag, that it's gonna perform a lot better. Essentially, this is a canister filter that is handheld. That is not as strong, actually. I do wish this unit is slightly stronger, but maybe it's a good thing that it is not that strong because this way I can actually shove the unit into my sand bed a little bit and stir the sand this way without all the sand getting sucked up. So maybe this is the, maybe this is a kind of the good, good balance in terms of strength and functionality. So with that said, this unit is $50. Um, if you know me, or if you've seen my main channel, I'm really, really critical in terms of things that I purchased. I will not sugarcoat it simply because I bought this product. A lot of people tend to do that. But for me, it's like, okay, well, I mean, I spent the money already. Well, let's just get the truth out. Um, it is a little bit overpriced for, for what it is. I think a good price point is probably around $30. Um, but this is such a niche product. This is pretty much the only handheld battery operated gravel cleaner that I see out there. Um, for my use, I think it's worth the money simply because the position of my sump is so awkward, so hard for me to get to. And even without the modification, this seems to be doing a pretty good job getting all the gunk out from my sump. And on top of that, it seems to be able to stir the sand bed and suck out all the um, lighter detritus that I'm trying to get rid of. Unfortunately, without modification, they seem to float right out of the cartridge. But I think with the 50 micron pad uh, hack that I'm gonna put around the cartridge, that's gonna solve that issue. It's just gonna run the water through the 50 micron bag as well. So I think for my purpose, it's worth the $50. Uh, but I mean, if you can siphon your sump easily and have no issue with detritus build up in the, um, in the sand, I don't think you need this. I mean, it's extra cost, save that money for frags, right? But if you are interested in buying this product, I've included an Amazon link directly to the product in the description and check it out. Check out other people's review as well. Don't just take my word for it. And not a lot of people use this product for reef purpose simply because even on the box, it does say that it's not recommended for sand. However, it is okay for marine use. It does say on the box as well. So for fresh water and marine use, it, the whole unit is actually submergible. So if you have a deeper tank than me, you can stick the whole unit down there and it's fine. And one cool thing is that I was worried this unit is a little bit too long, especially with the tip included, that I would not be able to create a siphon. But the pump was strong enough that as long as half the units all the way up to the cartridge, like half the cartridge is, uh, is in the water, it is able to create a siphon and you see the water squirt out um, inside the cartridge. So this is uh, actually a really long first impression of this product. And after I do the modification with the um, 50 micron bag and use this uh, vacuum for a while, I'll probably do a follow-up review just to let you guys know whether I still love this product or not. If you have more specific question about this product, feel free to leave a comment. I'll be, tr I'll try to answer it because I just got this unit, so I'm really new to it as well. Or if there's anybody else that have used this unit before, and um, I'm sure they can ask, they can hop in and answer as well. And if you have used this unit on a reef tank, on a sand bed, or even just fresh water. How do you like this? How is the is it durable long term? Because that seems to be one of the complaints from some of the people uh, on the Amazon review. If you have this unit, I would love to hear your feedback because I know this is legit feedback. This is from personal experience, and even better if you use this on a sand bed as well. All right, guys. So this is it, this is it for this video, and I hope that this had been helpful for you. Again, if you have any question, feel free to ask. And I hope you guys have a good weekend. Talk to y'all later. See ya.